All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Cash and guns. Ooh, and do you like cash and guns? I love cash and guns. <laughs> Why? Because you have cool little foam guns. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so fun. This is one of those games that I think I'd heard about. I thought, no, that just seems crazy with guns and stuff. But it's a hoot. It's just a lot of <laughs> light, fun game, right? Uh -huh. All right. Well, sweet. Well, what are you trying to do in Cash and Guns? What's it all about? In Cash and Guns, you're trying to get the most money from a loot. Okay. So that's all the loot yep. that we are fighting over. We're all bad guys trying to fight over our loot, right? Yep. And I see a stack over here, which is? Those are different loots. You have eight cards and eight rounds okay. of loot. So eight rounds to get the most we can get. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, tell us how you play. So, you've got this little card that will guide you along of how you do things. Okay, so everybody takes their character. Yep, everybody gets their a character. Okay. All right. Then you start off with setting out the loot for what you're fighting for. Okay. So this round, we, we got money out there, we got diamonds, and we got artwork. Do you want to explain the artwork? Artwork. If you have one piece of artwork, it's four thousand. If you have two, it's twelve. 3, 30, etc, etc. Okay, so if you're collecting art, you want to have sets of art at the end of the game. Yeah, it's Sweet. best to have more art. And then the diamonds? Diamonds, at the end of the, like, after all of the loots are done, then the person with the most diamonds can get the diamond card, and it gives them extra money. Flip it over and let's see how much. <laughs> Woo! Big money. So if you've got the most quantity of diamonds, you're going to get that. Nice. Yep, to add Those to are some your cool money. things to fight over. Yeah. All right. So, after you set out the loot, the second thing is everybody has five clicks and three bangs. Okay, so everybody's got eight cards. And okay. you choose the card that you want to do. Oh, so, so what are you going to pick? I'm going to pick a click. So you secretly so set out on which one you're actually going to use. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know that's the one that I'm doing. Okay, great. The third one. On the count of three, everybody points their gun at a different player. So you point at so a target? So I want you so. to I'm going to shoot whoever is right there. So you take the, that's where the foam guns come in, right? Yeah. So you're all around the table, <laughs> you got the guns, you're like, one, two, three, and everybody points at somebody else. Yeah. So, after you point, then the fourth, the fourth thing is, and whoever the godfather is, they have that in front of them. Okay. And They'll have the godfather's desk. Okay. Yeah. And he can say, point at somebody else. Like, he can tell one person to change their target, so he'd be like, Huzzah! I have to point at somebody else. Okay. So then, once the godfather chooses, then the courage, on the count of three, um, like, you'll start counting up, and if you have a gun pointed at you, and you think that they're, they're going to have a bang, then you can set your character down, and you're out of the loot for that. So you can't so take any of So, at the count of three, if, say you've got three of them pointed at you, Chances are you're gonna at the count of three you're gonna tip over and say, Oh, I'm not in this one. Yeah. Why? So okay. when you count up to three, three yep. then you put it down. And if you are pointing at somebody and they put it down, then you stay standing up, but you don't have to shoot at all. Okay. You don't have to show your card. Mm -mm. Nice. Okay, but everybody else that's still stayed in. So anybody who is still standing gets to take part in Unless, once you reveal the cards, right? Oh, unless, like, if mine was a bang and I was pointed at somebody, then they would fall over and you would take a wound. Oh, so if you stay in and then actually someone flips over their card that was pointing at you and it was a bang, you take a wound. Yeah. How many wounds to die? Three wounds and you're dead and you can't win at all. And you're out of the game. But, yeah. suppose they had a click like you did there, you weren't actually shooting and they stayed in. Then they would stay up. You stay standing. And they could take part in the loot. Okay, and how does that work? You start with the Godfather, and he will take a card, and then it goes clockwise. Everybody takes a card that's still standing up until all the loot is gone. So there's eight cards there, but it could be that maybe only three people are left standing to share in the loot, so we can go around a couple of times. Awesome. Yeah. And then there's also the desk there, which somebody could choose, right? Which means Yeah, you what? can like tap it and be like, I'm the Godfather this next round. So you would take the Godfather desk. So the Godfather can change each round because you may want to be able to point somebody else in a different direction. Yep. And if the Godfather does die, then it starts with the person, like you just go clockwise from the 
um, Godfather, and whoever's standing up next is the okay. one that starts the loot. And sharing in the loot. Okay, yep. then after you split the loot that round, what after happens next? you split next? it, you pull out another loot, and you just go from there. All right, well, let's set out the next loot and see what the potential was. All right, so. See all those got collected. Yeah. On to round two. Somebody took some wounds. Some people weren't in the loot. You know, it looks like 20 is the highest dollar amount there. We got some more yep. jewels in there. Ooh, and then some new cards. Tell me what yes. those mean. This, what you can do is you can take your hand, like what's left in your hand, and you can swap out one of your cards for a bang. So you could be like, ooh. Ooh, so you get an extra quick. bang clip to choose bang. from. So now you're going to have more than three. Yeah. Oh, sweet. But you will have to take the card and then it just keeps going on. Okay. You give up money to take some more bangs. Yes. Okay. If you get a health thing, then if you're lying down and you have like two wounds, mm -hmm. but like you had gotten two wounds but you're still up, you might want to take one of the health cards so you get rid of one of your wounds. Actually, you get rid of all your wounds. You, you get rid of all of your wounds. Yeah. Or you just see that come up early when we only have one. Or if we're down to two wounds, a lot of times we're chicken it out of <laughs> being in the loop. Yeah. Huh? Sweet. All right, and this is one of those games we play kind of multiple times in a row because it's just so fun to set up. Yep. And because there's another set of cards here you haven't set. Yep, this is the character thing. Okay. So this one is the doctor. And when the player lays down, this player will remove one wound. Oh, so the doctor can heal by chickening out. Yes. <laughs> so there's a lot of just different... Here, flip them all over there and see. All right. So at the start of the game, you can randomly set those out, and everybody could have some different character abilities. There's the vulture that can take two loot cards. And somebody's eliminated. You set There's all those. That one. Immediately runs away with ten thousand dollars. <laughs> That's kind of a fun one. Jeez, the kid. Nice. <laughs> So there's just a bunch of A lot of different ones you can do that don't get played with like every time. But then everybody can have a special ability while you're playing to make it even more fun. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right. Well, what would you rate Cash and Guns, Brooke? I would rate it a four. All right. Big thumbs up, huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Brooke. Yep.